but here we got it set up on the frame now the new challenge since it does have the long arms uh arm controls on it we're gonna have to figure out how to uh set it down and clamp it down since the slide uh rails are welded to the chassis of the car that's gonna make it more challenging oh well that almost went bad damn the freaking uh front axle rolled off the jack <laughs> And it just kind of landed on the, on top of the jack. So cool. The whole car just went boop. Wow, that was scary. Could have been real bad, but actually, really wasn't. There's nothing really wrong to go with <laughs> to go with it. It just kind of gave me a scare. Jeez, that sucks. Oh well, too bad. Let's just use a different jack. And. uh Lift it back up and do it again. All right, well, here we go. So in order to actually set it up on clamps and lower on these clamps right here, I had to set them up on the uh, six ton. Tans first, got to take the suspension apart first before I can set it onto the frame clamps just because the suspension travel is too damn high and uh, the body won't go any lower. <laughs> So yeah, now I just uh, think I'm just going to remove this Pitman arm completely. That way it's not in the way, so we have room to work underneath here. Yeah, took all the springs off and everything. You know, once we pull it back, I'm going to take this bracket off from the track bar. And uh, kind of go from there. And then I guess it looks like I'm going to have to take off the rear, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, blah. The rear leaf spring brackets in the back. That way I can drop it even lower than it is right now. Okay, so here we go. Finally got this guy on a frame, mounted, set up on clamps. I mean, it was pretty challenging with those uh, rock sliders being in the way. So yeah, let's just take a closer look at uh, what's going on here now that it's leveled. Okay, so zoom out a bit. Oof, look at that. Now we can see the picture here. So this one is pushed over and then also picked up that rail is pushed down and then also to the side there's also a buckle right behind the bump stop so the whole point of removing this bump stop here is so that we can get again access to this frame rail right here to create a like open up a window to relieve the stress so we can easily pull it back out and then even it out since I'm gonna be reinforcing this with a metal steel plate anyways this will help us to achieve our goal faster and then we'll, of course we're gonna reweld it back in clean up our weld spots and kind of go from there all right
this point, what we're gonna do is we'll attach the metal tab right, right here like so. Kind of in this area, whichever way is gonna work out better. That way, when, so imagine it being a square, because the front end's being twisted like this, it will be able to hold this side in when we're gonna pull this side that way. If that makes sense. All right, let's get it done. update as to how far we have gotten today so got this frame rail somewhat in its own position but you gotta remove this little plate and this whatever was this done so that we can properly repair this and then prep the surface for a um, the reinforcement uh, plate then I uh, gotta do some more work on here get that fixed up now there's more work to be done on this side it kind of got pulled out but there's still a nice crease there so we'll work on that uh, this frame rail still needs to be picked up more because it's still down but then again you know we kind of got it out a decent way just to be able to free up some room in here so yeah, then I already removed a gearbox from the steer for the steering from here to give us more room. Czar, we might have to remove the front axle as well completely or just maybe disconnect it back at the reinforcement plate for the transfer case or carrier plate. Take off the drive shaft and then we push it back even to be able to work on these frame rails more, give us more room. Let's get back to work.
Alrighty, so we got the grinding part all done. Now we're getting ready to start. Do you know? I'm gonna put a coat of primer on all the freshly ground spots. That way, it doesn't rust or anything. By the time I get around to have it painted or uh, put the under undercoating on it. So that's how that's turned out. I don't think it's too bad. It's not, you know, factory, but I think it's all right. For how old this car is, or this Jeep is, this will do just fine. Guys, we're ready to have this one installed. We got it all kind of laid out. We cleaned up sort of around as best as we could. So this bad boy is going to go in there. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is and uh, kind of go from there we will insert it there then we'll use c-clamps to adhere to the shape of the frame rail. This is day uh, week two. <laughs> so it's been all welded in and now I just have to go over it. Probably grind it down, make it look a bit more prettier. And uh, get the, these welds all cleaned up and then I'll go over with the sealer. Frame wise, everything's pretty straight now. So should be good to go. I think um, once I'm done grinding and primering everything, I'm going to start assembling the suspension to be able to take it off the frame and then uh, do the rest of the stuff on the ground. Alright, well, 
enough talking was good to put back to work and get this thing cleaned up. Okay, so it looks like the GoPro has died. The battery um, just couldn't hold it together. So, so far, this is where we're at right now. Front suspension's pretty much assembled. Uh, once I lift up the front end, I'm gonna have to figure out the front track bar a little bit. But our rear end, I have set up on the stands right now. They're like the, what are they, six tons. So that uh, gives me some clearance to work around. And then I'm gonna have to now lift up the front end in order to get the wheels on. All right, let's do it. So, the Jeep is done. It's on its own power and its own wheels now. Frame is straight. Doors are closing and opening beautifully. Literally, like just... Perfect. All thanks to this guy right here. Thank you so much. Without you, it wouldn't happen. You're welcome. So yeah. Now, on to the other things. All the plus, plus, and other, you know, figuring out the wiring, figuring out paint and other coating and cooling and phone systems and everything else. Suspension, alignment, the whole rest deal, and then body at the end. So, as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was entertaining and interesting enough to watch. If you liked it, press, you know, press the thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Thank you.